it is the lawn before the storm. Raymond Watts calmly cut his grass, trying to reduce his concerns about it growing even taller once thunderstorms pass through the Baltimore area. But in his front yard, sandbags. He hopes they will offer protection against flooding. When that comes down that hill and that sort of whole top comes off, it's coming. That's why Baltimore City set up several locations for families to come and get sandbags. Watts lives along 35th Street at Hillen Road. The flood-prone area is near Mervo Tech High School. City Department of Transportation crews packed and handed out 330 sandbags here to neighbors in this area. Brian Jefferson got some for his neighbors and for his home. Like water goes through the porch, and all the way to like that tree over there. Cars float down the street, and that's what it did. In southwest Baltimore, outside Steel Meadow Church on Frederick Avenue, workers also handed out bags. I just want to make sure that we're prepared. T. Wood and her daughter took some home. We got kids in the house. You know, you don't want their stuff to get damaged or anything. You don't want mold, so better safe than sorry. WBAL-TV meteorologist Delencia Jenkins says the rain may not be the main issue. Possible coastal flooding could be a problem. So uh, the coastal flooding is going to be moving into Annapolis as well as the Inner Harbor, Fells Point, Baltimore area, even up uh, along the uh, Chesapeake Bay. Everyone in those low-lying flood-prone areas need to exercise caution for the next few days. Back in northeast Baltimore, as Raymond Watts cut straight columns to make his grass neat and even, he decided to explain why he takes everything in stride, including possible flooding. What can you do? You can't do nothing but live your life and live where you live and try to do the best you can because if it's coming, ain't nothing going to stop it. Now, Mr. Watts and each of his neighbors received 10 sandbags. Reporting live from Fells Point, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News. Barry, thank you. Be prepared for any severe weather wherever you go with the WBAL-TV app. Turn on push alerts for severe weather advisories and track storms and traffic on radar.